I'm so tapped out. This is Fract OSC. This is something I've been meaning to play for a freaking long time. And it's one of those games I'm kind of scared of because visually, it looks amazing. I, I know it'll be my thing visually. Um, but I heard it's like a musical puzzle game, and both of those can go wrong pretty quickly for me. I'm not super great at, at musical, you know, rhythm games and stuff. Um, I don't have a good ear for... Huh. I don't have a great ear for, like, you know, um, beat and stuff. So if it requires, like, musical knowledge, I'm probably lost. Um, and puzzle games... I wonder how many times I've had to explain this, but... Puzzle games, um, I like the idea, but my work... Like, I'm a developer, and so puzzle games kind of feel like work. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just not what... The, that's just not the, the feeling you necessarily want. I'm just trying to enjoy a thing. It's the world's first completely silent music game. My face. Why is my face a CRT monitor, though? Right click. Bloop. Okay. Is this mist? Get into the elevator. Eat your elevators. Apollo. Loden. Oops. I'm using. <laughs> I just realized I'm using my capture card instead of recording the thing. That's fine, but. It's just kind of funny. I'm using my capture card to record my PC, which honestly isn't actually a bad idea at all. It's actually a great way to uh, to record stuff, as long as it's a full screen game, of course. Or you can just crop it, really. Um, it just seems silly, uh, because you can record that stuff without a capture card, but dedicated capture software captures things very well. It seems more like a walking sim. Um, so far at least, than a... It described itself as a musical puzzle game, or at least something that I read. I googled what it was, because I forgot, because it's been in my Steam library for like... three plus years. I, I'm so behind on things. I forget, I'm so far behind, I don't remember how behind I am. <laughs> but, uh... It feels more like Mist than like, you know, Crypt of the Necrodancer so far, so... And just see what this musical and puzzle element is all about. <laughs> eh. You gotta rub it. You gotta rub it good. I should have got my my controller for this. I, I usually prefer playing things with. Well, it's a first person game. Never mind. I usually prefer things with controller unless it's like a first person shooter, which obviously isn't a shooter. Getting some V set. Can I? I don't know if you can see the... Oop! Turn that on. Oh, it's just FXA, but whatever. I'm not sure there's even a point to putting anti-aliasing on, considering the CRT filter. But I'll try it. Not a big fan of FX. Um, anti-aliasing. I forget what the really... There's a really neat one that some games use that's really pretty efficient, but really looks good. I oh, missed. Um, I <laughs> has been so long. I used to like follow all of the like technical developments and everything. I've been a little bit out of the the gaming industry chatter and such for a while. It kind of feels weird because I still play games so much. But wait, what? that big old green tentacle over there. I can feel some puzzle elements kind of leaking in there, but it still feels more exploratory. Ooh, I like that. See, I like a game that just shows you lots of interesting stuff. That's really my my goal for a really interesting game. Um, I, I, this kind of game just puts you in this mindset that's just really relaxing and otherworldly, and you just, just I, I personally think it is just really nothing better to calm you down and help you forget just frustrating stuff um you know it may not be like a laugh riot and like you know borderlands kind of fun but if i just want to calm down and relax i always go for something like this even over you know grindy fun 
you know, shoot the crap with your friends kind of games. It's a different kind of fun. And I think, I think variety is super important and really underrated, if anything, in games. Like, a lot of people, like, especially in YouTube stuff, that, that's such a shame. Like, the big YouTube kind of things almost always focus around doing the same thing a billion times. Wow. And, um... It's just so not interesting to me. It's an interesting kind of dedication, but it's also just like, I, I can't... I go nuts. Like, Northern Lion, he's got like over a thousand episodes of Binding of Isaac. I mean, he's great at it. He, by all things I could tell, he just genuinely enjoys doing that. And I mean, he gets paid for it, so I mean, why not? But, I don't think I can do that. Maybe, oh, we are going up. Um, maybe if I saw the paycheck, I could do that, but you know, <laughs> just playing a thing a lot does not necessarily mean you're going to get that many followers. I haven't heard that as like advice for you know, like new to YouTube people, just find a niche and fill it and that's not really, <laughs> like don't, don't expect this to become like Fortnite channel or anything anytime soon. Ooh. Don't squirsh me now. Don't squirsh me, bro. Coupling complete. How do I can I get inside? Is there? Hmm. Oh, oh, here we go. I'm blind. I really like the vibe of this game. It's just really peaceful and just kind of awe-inspiring. I just really like that. I was scared this was gonna be like, oh, you gotta you do no turning back now. Well, the other good thing about using my capture card is you can see the achievements, the Steam achievement. Not that, not really a big deal, but sometimes they're funny or you know whatever. Um, but my usual recording method for Steam games does not capture that because it's an overlay. It's not part of the specific thing to collect. Wow, I'm floaty McGee. This is, I don't know why this was billed as a musical puzzle game. It's definitely an exploration game. I, th this seems to be some degree of puzzle elements to it. But I guess I guess a lot of people still consider like a walking sim, if you want to call that, to be a negative thing. But for me, that's like exactly what I want to hear. Which reminds me, I never did a video for uh, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. That's sort of that's one of those things that like it was totally my thing, um, and I really liked it. It wasn't perfect. I had some qualms with the ending, but how do you end something like that, honestly, and have it be, like, perfect? But, um, whoa, what is this? Whoa! I just, like, oh, I'm in, like, I'm in one of those, like, pneumatic tube systems. Maybe this is more puzzle than I was prepared to give it credit for. Interesting game, though. Uh, what was I talking about? Purple. Blue. Okay, so that's that's the main cube thing. This is... I can only travel to the ones that I've activated then, I guess. Is this, does that mean there's like a world here and I can like solve puzzles in it or how does this work? The game itself is the puzzle. That's, that's kind of neat. I, I played some things kind of like that. Um, hmm. um, what was I trying to say? Oh yeah, but, but things like everybody's gone to the rapture. Everybody had heard of it because they had been to the rapture, huh? But um, everybody had heard of it so like I didn't really do a video of it. But I... I don't know, maybe I could go back and do a video on it. I, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm perpetually late to games, it's kind of silly. Um, I, I don't consider it to matter personally too much how old a game is or anything. Like, you know, if I were to load up, like, you know, Link to the Past, it's still good. Or, you know, even a less appreciated SNES game, it's still good. But a lot of people, like, I mean, you do get more views if you play something recent, which I think 
it's just kind of how things are. It's it's a little bit unfortunate, but I mean, what are you gonna do about that? Um, it's one of the things you kind of got to deal with. It does not appear to have been a reason to be down there. I guess I don't. I'm, I'm kind of seeing the puzzle element now. In fact, yes. So do I just have to activate the these? Whatever these are? Hmm. I want to go to that thing. Can I go to that thing? I do feel this is... Oh, there is a run button. Why is it not just like perpetual run? Let me see. Invert look. Auto run. There you go. Click, drag, interact mode, shift run. Okay. I was just about to say, so many walking sims. Just because it's called a walking sim doesn't mean you have to have a slow movement speed. Um, and I'm very glad this has a run button, because, like, I get it, you want to build up the tension and the mood and stuff, but not, you can't just make me, you can't just be slow and, like, expect me to appreciate your game that much more. Just because you made it slow, that's not how that works. Like, you kind of want to, like, inspire players to, like, f take in the awe and so forth. But, you can't just make something deep just because it moves slow, and so I really appreciate that these devs included a, um, a go fast button. Okay, so I've now activated two of these. Obvious midterm goal is to activate all of those, but what is this? Ooh! Now this looks. Is this the large hadron hadron collider? No, this is just a medium hadron collider. Uh oh. Oh. Now we get the puzzly bits. Um, oh, now I see how. Oh, okay. Okay. Mu musical puzzle indeed. I, I understand. I understand completely. But it's not musical in like the you have to know music kind of sense. It's musical in the like. The game makes music. That is, that's even. That's actually a lot cooler, in my opinion. There we go. That is. That's really cool. It's a musical puzzle, but it's not just like you know. Interesting. Because I, I, I don't have perfect pitch. I don't even have regular. <laughs> I don't have regular pitch. Um, I'm pretty bad at like recognizing light motifs and all of that crap. But uh, I don't know what that did. But I I fixed it. I fixed the medium hadron collider. So is there like a puzzle near each one of the teleporter Is that where we're going? I think that lets you, if it's going to have a big map like this, it is very important. Oh wait, I came that way. Um, that it lets you move around quick, both from the, f f you know, faster movement speed as well as the uh, teleport. Very welcome feature. Is this? It is. Kind of. I think this is like a sector, right? And I got... No? I've solved one of five puzzles, but I don't see. Don't see what these other puzzles would be. What's this thing? What's this for? I found a couple of these. I don't know what those are. Do I just like follow this? Oh, I don't think you followed that at all. Nope. All right. Hmm. So I look for the... Nah. Alright, yeah, I'm confused. I am confused. So... I guess as I fly around, I can kind of look for... Places to go. I see something up there. I want to go see that thing, but... 
Yeah, we can't go to that yet. Hmm. It's really interesting. I can definitely see this is the sort of game I wouldn't have a ton to talk about. So it's definitely going to be a quick look. Um, I definitely... It'd be an interesting chill stream, but I might just have nothing to say. Wait, did I really not think to uh, right click here? Uh... Oh, <laughs> it turns out it's not a puzzle, so it didn't, doesn't matter that I didn't. It's really cool. It's a cool chill. Like, too many puzzle games I don't feel have enough chill element. I think I would enjoy puzzle games more if they were more about, like, relaxing and, like, you know, what's that? You know, too many have, like, a frantic vibe or, like, just headache give vibe. This just feels a lot more relaxing. Also, I think open-worldness, as odd as that might seem to, to tunnel vision, as, long, as odd as it might seem to call, an, um, you know, a puzzle game open-world, I think that's very important to have because, like, if you get stuck on a puzzle and you can just go to a different puzzle and, like, try something new, um, that, that makes me, that makes me enjoy the game so much more, whereas if I'm just expected to, you know, suffer through one puzzle over and over, that's just, that's just quit juice. That just makes me quit the game. That's what that does. That doesn't make me like inspired to solve the puzzle even better. Um, oftentimes, I'll need I need to take a break and just the game letting me do something else instead of just forcefully leaving the game um, helps me to actually do that. I don't I don't think I can do anything in that quote unquote tunnel right now. Um, yeah, I don't like. I'm not a big fan of quit juice, so I've decided to call it. Have I activated this one? I think, uh, yeah, I think this is the Nexus one, yeah, this is the Nexus, so... Interesting. Interesting layout for a game. Ooh, I wanna go up. I wanna go up east. I love the visuals. I, like I said, puzzles not super my thing. Uh, I think this could be a game that I could chill in, though. It's gonna be it's gonna be boring for commentary though. So I think I'm gonna check out. I'm gonna try to do one more puzzle, just so we could. See. It's a puzzle game I've done. Arguably one real puzzle. The rest were tutorials, but figuring out the game is its own puzzle, and I can respect that. Sometimes it's more frustrating than it's worth, but if you can do it right, um, it's it can be a really interesting feel to just understanding the game. Is the challenge of the game. All right, what we got going on here? <laughs> ah. Oh, so this is like, oh, neat. Oh, these are really cool puzzles. I'm so glad I found this one. Oof, I don't like that one. I... Oops. I fell off the ledge and like got stuck. Can I move both of them now? Oh! Did I solve it? Was that it? We could have done more there, but I guess that is it. Whoa. What is this? I kind of like the idea that like the, the world gets more musical and stuff as you solve puzzles and stuff. This is actually pretty neat. Can I go up there? I guess this is solved. I can't seem to go up there. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it's an elevator and you- okay. I kind of miss the interaction button sometimes. Maybe there's more to this. Ooh! 
Okay, I'm really glad I decided to solve one more puzzle to really see what this is about. That's really interesting. I should check this out. I think I think this game is from like 2014 or something. It's fairly quote unquote old. So I don't really consider that old, but I mean, people are like tap tap. This game is like three minutes old. Why are you playing this? It's it's old. It's not even YouTube bait anymore. How? What are you thinking? Why would you play a game that's been out for any amount of time whatsoever? You know, that whole blurg. What is this? What is this garbage? What does he think he's Captain Trees? Captain Tie and Knots? Oh. Uh oh. Okay, so I have four things. Okay, now this is the part where Tap Tap's inability to do music comes into effect. Is this... Are these hints? Okay, this is the part, this is the part where, where my musical inability completely destroys my capacity to play the game, unfortunately. Um, that's a shame. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure I would ever finish this without a guide then. I, I feel like they should be moderately evenly spaced out, right? I don't really understand what this is trying to tell me at all. So, it, it does seem like it is in fact one of those games more for the musically inclined. That, that's unfortunately a fairly... Well, not super niche, but it does definitely exclude some people. But, I'm sure I could just look this up. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now, honestly. Um... Fact OSC puzzles purple lines. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, there's a lot of these. Uh oh. There's fortunately there's a guide. Um, lead synthesizers puzzle solutions. Oh wait. No, that's not it. There's like way more complicated ones than this. This video? No. Mom! Me! Me! Okay, finding out what the puzzle solutions are. Wouldn't an image have completely sufficed for this? There's like video guides instead. I hate video guides. Ironic as it may seem. Um, I think. Oh, I think you can look up by which color it is. Like, purple, this, so this is purple puzzle, I, I can't tell what number it is, but it's obviously a purple puzzle. Alright, let me, okay, so, purple, pad synthesizer, part two, part one. Very confusing game, even with triangle symbol. Me! Uh, this, the way this guide is laid out does not make any sense to me. 
Lead synthesizer puzzle solutions. I don't know what a lead synthesizer is. Lead, bass, and pad synthesizer are the three colors. But I don't know. I don't know which one is which. I'm not a music major. Well, which one? Blue. Put the green and blue. Parker, please. Green cube. Oh my gosh. I, I, this is unfortunately way over my head. So. I feel like they have to be evenly spaced, right? Like, I mean, that's how beats work. I feel like I, I have to be able to brute force it at some point. Maybe not, though. Never asked me to make you music, I guess. Uh, I could definitely do some extra hints here. I don't. What is this? Oh well. <laughs> Lovely game, but I can't even figure out how to use the guides for it, so I, I guess I'm forever doomed, so that's a shame. But this is Frank OSC. If you're more musically minded than me, uh, definitely check it out. This is super cool.